Okay, should I turn on the lights? I don't know. I as want to buried, bury you in them, yes. It is, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, it is Carcone Carne. We are on North Avenue in Elmwood Park in front of Burger Movement. Uh, I'm James Van Osel with Bury Me in Lights in the Woo! car. All four of them are in the car. Uh, and this podcast is brought to you by Boost Mobile. Everything you're listening to is sponsored by Boost. Uh, we are recording this on to, well, we're doing a Facebook Live on a Samsung Galaxy S9 phone, which runs on the super fast, super powerful Boost Mobile network. You guys ready to eat some burgers? Yes, sir. Yes. I am, too. It's car con carne. Let's eat in the car. It's car con carne. And now here's the star of our show, James Van Ostel. All right, so we're at Burger Movement. I've been hearing about this place longest time it's uh, on this stretch of restaurants on north avenue in elmwood park a uh, really popular strip i've been dying to try this stuff and i brought in a menu uh, i got the poutine burger which is cheddar cheese curds fries sauteed mushrooms rich gravy uh, scallion aioli on a brioche and i they've served singles and third pounds and i said well, i'll just have a single that's big enough right uh, most people order a double. So I've got a double poutine burger. So this will be the last broadcast I ever do because I'm going to die after <laughs> tonight. Uh, what do you get? You get? You got something simple there, Robert? Yeah, Front nice, man of uh, Bury Me in Lights? Plain hamburger. I'm a purist, a meat purist. So. <laughs> is that what it is? You're a purist? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm really, you know, anybody can put whatever they want on a burger, but, you know, you got to tell by the beef alone, right? Not that there's anything wrong with that. No. no. There are dozens pass of them, right? All right. Should we start? What about the back seat? What yeah. about the rest of Bury Me in Lights? south of the movement. Absolutely. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, and that is all natural pepper jack, spicy chipotle, jalapeno. Oh, you're, this is going to hurt you. Oh, yeah. Jalapenos, <laughs> lettuce, tomato, raw onions on a brioche. Um, and then someone got the special burger, right? The uh, twisted it's, Swister. Oh, yeah. Comes with a side of D. Snyder au jus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some. Yeah, Glenn Tipton, A.J. Downing. Maybe? No, no, that's. No, it's K.K. That, Downing. That's Priest, bro. That's Priest. Uh -huh. Oh, man. What are their names? I, I blanked on it, you know. Yeah. Hey, well, J.J. French, right? AJ Perro and JJ French. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh, and Thanks then the, there was another basic burger back there. Classic single. Classic single. All right. Uh, so <laughs> I'm, I'm right. dying to try this place. Uh, they, they have tater tots here and sweet potato fries. Uh, they actually sell poutine. Um, they're hillbilly fries. They're fries covered with chili, cheddar, sour cream. This is Burger Movement, M O O, Mint, on North Avenue in Elmwood Park. Bring over the food. I want to say hi to Matthew, who's watching. Also, Nick DeGilio. Thank you for watching, Nick. Uh, Christopher Tucker. Is also watching right now. You look so serious, Robert. I don't know. I'm. You look. look I mean, you look intense. Like yeah. staring at his own eyes. Is, is that his thing? Is he just really like focused yeah, all the time? All the time. Yeah. Every Sunday. Does that make you crazy when you practice? A little bit. A little bit. Uh, Bobby's also watching. So is CJ. Oh, and as well, start distributing the food, boys. Yeah, let's, let's rock it out. Um, I love one of my favorite things. Once you get James. past the music, music. <laughs> once you get past the music, uh, bury me in lights. This is heavy. Uh, oh, their James. merch. <laughs> this is a band that understands how to do merchandise. I want to show you the so latest Bury Me in Light shirt yeah. while on camera. I want to say hi to Ryan and Michael who are watching. Vance. Look at this. The new Bury Me in Light shirt. Cobra Kai. Twisted. Co who got the twist? Karate. Right karate ta who had the foot long? You know. Oh, that's Bat me, Bat sir. Ben, yeah. <laughs> I want to say hi to Patrick. Burger, single, brioche, no cheese. I don't know if that's yours. They all said James. <laughs> no, the, I think that one, it, there's a receipt on the bag. I've got the tots. Let's say hi to Gardner Wade, who's watching. Hey, Gardner. All right, let's 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 hold up what we got here. I'm going to get down to the This is oh, hefty. That looks like yours. Yeah, that looks that's... completely ordinary because you're a burger purist. I'm a beer, beer <laughs> purist. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a Swedish, the burger. So. Burger. Uh, so I got the poutine burger. This is going to be This is going to be a challenge. Oh, God. I'm willing to accept the challenge. Look at this. They're cheese curds and gravy. I'm actually fogging yes. up the windshield because I've got the AC on and I've got this intensely hot burger. I this is this is a work of art. That is the double poutine burger from Burger Movement. How about can you hold up the uh, twisted Swister? Oh yeah. Oh, he's already. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm rocking a tot. So. Oh. You're rocking a tot? Yeah. There are laws against that, sir. <laughs> Oh, it's delicious. Jail. I know what's up. <laughs> Have you done time? Yeah, uh, it's summer. I Allegedly. prefer to call it summer camp. Allegedly. So, I'm with the hardened criminals. <laughs> Bury me in lights. 
<laughs> 26 in Cali was a former address. So. Hard. 26 in Cali. That is that is hell on earth, that place. Yeah. Uh-huh. His food was great. It was all inclusive, which was kind of nice. <laughs> right. Beats going to the Holiday Inn. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right, I, I'm going to try to... I can't eat this. I don't know what you're going to do. The human mouth does not work like this. I want to say hi to Paul Farivar and Nicole, who are watching. Um... CJ says, love those Bury Me in Lights boys. Glory days and Bury Me in Lights show. It's going to happen. Sure. Absolutely. Sure. Why it not? has happened. <laughs> I do want to talk about your band. I want to say hi to Kelsey, who's watching. Um, you know, here's a question I have for you guys. You know this is a podcast, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because uh, I know you promoted this, and I really am grateful that you promoted this. Uh, Tyler Wildey is watching. I, mo the most recent Carco and Carney episode features Ty Tyler Wildey at his very famous Epic Deli. Um you promoted this show saying tune in and I, here's my great fear with this podcast it has nothing to do with you i think i'm at the point where people don't even realize it's a podcast anymore they just think it's a video thing i do on facebook i, I sensed your apprehension once we started <laughs> promoting it uh -huh. but i figured we'd do the live part and then i'll we'll, we'll also promote the podcast thank you version of that because thank you all, i'm old now so all i listen to is i podcasts. thought it was a podcast i brought a pocket full of slammers i thought we were just Rock out some burgers and play some pogs. I wish we would. I wish we would. <laughs> Old man. That's such a dated reference. Do kids still do that? They don't do that, right? I don't think so. God, I hope not. That would make them have to interact in person. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> so true. Holy God. Podcast. There are french fries and cheese curds on my burger. How is it? And mushrooms. Dude, this is ridiculous. I love the brioche bun. Me too. From a beef standpoint, good mm. beef. <laughs> Verdict is in. Oh, you guys, this is amazing. I want to say hi to Santi, who watches every week. I appreciate him and uh, his support. All right, so we know it's a podcast. And that's the thing. Like, you're going to perform live after we eat. I, I want to feed you, and then I'm going to um, have you perform. It always sounds better when I mix it as a podcast. And people are like, oh, I had a hard time hearing the guitar. It's because it's through my phone. Right. My Samsung Galaxy S9 phone on the Super Fast Boost Mobile Network, but my phone nonetheless. It's also a lack of talent on my end. <laughs> no, usually well, it comes way to set the table. Though, right? Way to set the table. Hey. Uh huh. So yeah, we are going to do a second Facebook Live tonight after we uh, get rid of the detritus from this meal, and uh, we're going to have you play. Awesome. See, I gave you the option to perform first. I didn't know if it was easier to rock on an empty stomach. It doesn't matter. I'm always 99% of the time I'm full of burger. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's the verdict on the food? Awesome. Delicious. Very good. Awesome. Burger Movement, Elmwood Park. This place is great. And they've got shakes, they have booze, and of course they have gambling. Because gaming is gaming is a thing out here. That's awesome. I love, it's, it's awesome. Uh, this burger is substantial. And i got to say, um, I don't know where I left the menu. The prices are really reasonable here. Oh, yeah. Like super cheap burgers, a ton of food. Uh, Joe Daniels, drummer extraordinaire, is watching. Hello, Joe. Hi, Joe. Joe? Mm hmm Joe is a force of nature behind a drum kit, boys. Aww. I'm just telling you. All right, give me some Bury Me in Lights history. You've been around for a while, for a little bit. You've been around the block. Mm -hmm. Randy? You've seen some stuff. Well, this is the second iteration of the band right here. We actually have. This is the better one, right? Yeah, we're the new originals. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to think of it, you know. It's always an evolution in progress, just like music is. Mm -hmm. Everything evolves, everything moves, everything changes. Mm -hmm. We started in about 2009, and then we had... Um, a lineup switch about 2016 with some uh, people move across country and stuff. So, brought my childhood lifelong friends, the Valaro brothers. They're actually brothers oh, yeah. into the band. So, to like hold up the rhythm section. Uh, Lucy from the Mystery Actions is watching. All another right. fine Chicago band. Yeah, they're awesome. We're they're... playing with them in September. Oh, right, let's talk about your next gig. Um, yeah. You're playing that uh, the festival out in uh, Lyle. Lyle. Mm -hmm. Homegrown. Yeah, that's on the 21st. You're that's one of 75 awesome. bands? Yep. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We're uh, playing outside, so that'll be fun, mm -hmm. weather permitting. All right, so the new originals in 2016. Mm -hmm. and it's been all systems go from there. Now, yeah. the, the last recorded stuff we got from you was last year, right, the EP? Yes, so we uh, released it at the end of last year, um, hoping to go back into the studio uh, fall sometime and get out a new one. You have stuff written, ready to go? Yep. We've been working pretty nonstop since the record came out. Just new ideas kind of spawning left and right. Finally hitting that kind of groove after a while that you've been together. You got, 
you know, one little EP down and mm -hmm. all of a sudden it feels like progress is coming practice after practice. We even let our drummer write a song, uh -oh. which yeah. is beautiful. So oh, we'll, we gave we'll him the old Ringo treatment and... <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens on the EP where that one falls. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm just, it could be in the, you know, middle three. Well, Robert, where's your headspace as you're writing these songs? Um, mostly plain burgers, but... Mm -hmm. No, um, I don't know. I just try to write stuff that everybody can kind of relate to. Um, we usually start with music, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Just write from personal experience. I'm not one of the storytellers of our time. Um, but, yeah, just try to write something everybody can relate to. Write stuff that we like. You may be the most self-deprecating guest I've had so far. That's all right. <laughs> it's part of his charm. I'm, wait, no, on. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Kathleen Buckman says, hey, guys. Hey, Kathleen. You know Kathleen? Oh, yeah. My future mother-in-law. Ah. Uh, the impossibly tall Chris Wall Jasper is watching as well. Very nice to see him here. Uh, all right, so what have been the high points so far? Is since Let's say since 2016, since um, since this version's been all guns blazing. House of Blues, that was awesome. Headlining House of Blues was mm -hmm. fun. Um, just the response in general, people are a lot more involved than uh, previously, but I think we're also working harder at it. So it's... it's you got to treat it like a job, right? I mean, Absolutely. And we're just having more fun with it, too. Before we were, I think, took ourselves, not too seriously, at least myself, took myself too seriously. But now we're trying to just have fun and hopefully everybody likes it and have some sweet merch to back it up instead. In case I, I think merch is a big part of the puzzle. Absolutely. It's stuff I mean, people want to own, people want to wear. Yeah, absolutely. Style goes, goes to beyond the, the tunes in your ears. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, Robert made all gone. Yeah, I'm done. Oh, yeah, I plowed mine through. Wait, how did you guys oh, do yeah. this? Well, uh, Tim and I grew up one of like 11 kids, so you had to eat fast. Otherwise, Total 11 kids. Oh, whatever. <laughs> we shared a bed. So, we had to eat fast, otherwise just a cloud of dust and <laughs> broccoli left. So I learned the hard way. A um, guy I work with was watching two weeks ago on Facebook. He said, yeah, I was watching the guests you were, you were with talk about whatever. And I was watching you. I put you up on my Apple TV. So I got you in like high def on the TV. And I'm watching you eat and spill. <laughs> <laughs> and I got really self-conscious. I'm like, okay, of course. He could throw that on his you know, TV in his living room. So I, I, as I'm spilling here, eating this giant, super delicious poutine burger, you may see me on the Facebook Live. Move this Not way. Uh-huh. Where am I? Where am <laughs> I? Not here. I'm over nope, here now. Bye. Not here. I, I'm no, almost done with this so I can safely. Yeah, no shame and shame eating. Thank you. It's also yeah. the perks of having no condiments, nothing to spill. So you, what you're saying is you're wiser than the rest of us. Well, it's yeah. implied. Uh, <laughs> this burger is seriously excellent. Yeah, it I, was I, awesome. I, I cannot recommend this place strongly enough. Uh, burger Movement, North Avenue in Elmwood Park. All right, so you've got the show coming up in Lyle. Uh, people can find you everywhere. Yeah. Google Play Music, Spotify, yep. et cetera. Mm -hmm. uh, if they want their hands on one of your sweet pieces of merch, do they have to come to a show? They don't have to. Well, they can go to our Facebook. We have a Facebook store there, but we'd prefer you come to the show. <laughs> oh, yeah. Plus, you get to see us. Well, describe the live show. Uh, a lot of hair on their end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of not talking on my end, obviously, for obvious reasons. Um, <laughs> yeah, but high the music's energy. good. We try to get, yeah, high energy. We try to get everybody involved and just have a good time. It's like a rush show, but with way less talent. Yep. So. <laughs> All right, so I was ta and, talking. And no Canadians. No Canadians. Even Although I just ate poutine, so that kind of makes up for it. Very Canadian food. Um, I, I mentioned this before on the podcast. I mentioned this to a couple of you before we started recording. Um, I started collecting vinyl again. After years, I was done with vinyl in the 90s. It just, no one was making it anymore. No one was playing it. I just, I got rid of all my records. Now I'm buying it all back. Yeah. Bit by bit. So I stopped on the way here. I actually built in time from work to stop at Valshalla in Oak Park on the way here. Uh, you mentioned Rush. I now am the proud owner of a used copy of A Farewell to Kings. $15. It's sitting in the back seat if you guys want to you know, open the gatefold cover and read some lyrics to Xanadu oh, later. Oh, Randy will know them all. <laughs> are, are you mocking Rush? No. Okay. no, literally. He's one of the biggest Rush fans in it. Uh, Aaron right. Carmen is watching. So is the very talented Courtney Boyers. Oh, yeah. Uh, the talented Take front the person of Take the Reins. I saw, I saw Maddie Rebel, too. Yeah. Uh, Maddie Rebel uh, yeah, from Take yeah, the Reins. Yeah, yeah. Uh, previous guest... Love them. Also playing Homegrown. Also playing Homegrown. Yeah. Uh, Caitlin, who is peripherally connected to the restaurant we're enjoying right now, 
Burger Movement is watching. Thank you, Caitlin. Jason from the Runaround. Jason from the Runaround. I I love this. Is one of my favorite parts of doing this podcast is CMA. all the local bands. Well, yeah, all the local bands kind of coming together. To, I couldn't be more proud of like to be the scene where and everybody is so nice. Everybody's awesome. It's great. well. I guess that's my next question. What's the scene like now? I mean, I, I've seen it go through fits and starts, peaks and valleys. Is it a good time to be in the Chicago scene? I think so. Everybody's still banded together. I mean, it's not as probably... E- it's a little easy to get more distant in, like, the digital age with everything, but, like, we're still... Once we play shows together, we're promoting each other's bands. We're playing a bunch of shows with Take the Reins. Uh, we're playing with them again in September. Um, it's just so much talent, and everybody's just super cool. So, well, I love your band. I, I think... As far as you've gotten, whether it's headlining House of Blues or doing these shows coming up, uh, you earned it. You earned it. You sound Thank great. I, uh, I can't wait to hear what you do in a studio next. Ryan from Marina City is watching right awesome. now. Awesome. Uh, they just absolutely Play killed picnic, it at yeah. Picnic last week. Yeah. Uh, it was super fun seeing them just kind of come into their own. Uh, Jessica says, what a voice, what a band. Talking about Yay. your band. Talking, you're that voice. You're um, that band. Yes. Thanks, Thanks Jessica. Jessica. I, I love it. All right. So other than the shows and getting back in the studio, anything else coming up we should know about? In the world of Bury Me in Lights? Um, no, just we're going to do some shows. We're going to do a fun... Um, we're doing Punk the Burbs in September, which is awesome. a bunch of awesome bands. We're doing um, a Halloween show where we're going to be the Misfits in October. Amazing. So, yeah, all Misfits, all Dan's except. So, so you're going to do Last Caress for us today? Uh, I can. I'm singing South of Heaven, but I guess that's been kiboshed. So. <laughs> you don't want to lose the sponsors. You're doing a set. That's right. <laughs> so you're doing a set as the Misfits. Yeah. That's, I love that. Yeah, oh yeah, that's my favorite band, even though we sound nothing like them. But yeah, we thought it'd be fun to do a Halloween show, so it's going to be out And you guys are totally down with it? Oh, oh yeah. Sure. Oh yeah. i got to start lifting, but They have no choice. <laughs> you got to start lifting. No, I told them to just well, put gotta the be shoestring going. around his bicep and just give him some pop. It'll work. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Just feed the crowd. Luckily, so, Doyle, you know, I don't have to look like Doyle. So. Hey, were you guys at Riot Fest? Yes. When they played? Oh, yeah. Dude, were you aware? I, I got there first thing. I, I always get there when gates open. People camped out from the second the gates opened yeah, until yep. Misfits took the stage that night. Yeah. I mean, that, that that is serious. I think I stopped after, like, brand new. I stood there from there on. I couldn't watch Zombie. I couldn't watch any of them because I had to get... And I was wow. still... By, by but, early afternoon, that yeah. whole stage was oh, yeah. impassable. It was awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. Crazy. Yeah. All right. Um, Brad Summer says, Misfits de- mit- <laughs> Misfit set. Dude. Dude. That's a dude with three exclamation points. It's my kind of dude. Right. I mean, that, 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 we will well, abide. So. When you use three exclamation points, it clearly says, I'm not fucking around. Huh? This is serious dude. stuff. Dude. 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 All right. Oh, I haven't had tater tots yet. You guys want some tots? I got oh, tots. Good. We, oh, we've been eating tots. Yeah. You come back there? 12 pounds of tots. Yeah, we got the communal sack back here, so we're good. Communal sack, by the way, was the name of my first adult feature. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Amateur, but tasteful. I think you'd love it. Yeah. Mm hmm. All right, so here's the plan. We're recording for the podcast because it's a podcast. I have grease all over the dash, by the way. <laughs> um, we're recording for the podcast. We're going to pause the Facebook Live. Or actually, we're going to stop the Facebook Live. We're going to come back with another Facebook Live as we record the podcast. You're going to bring a guitar into the car. Yes, sir. What are you going to do? I'm going to do an old song, I think, from our first 2012 release. Dude. Jason wants to know what Punk the Burbs is. So you're distracted. He invented it. <laughs> I see. He's, he's just playing you because he yeah. wants the plug. Yeah. Punk the Burbs. It's amazing. Yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. Queers, Bow Evils, The Runaround, Take the Reins, Us. Um, there's so many. That's a hell of a show already. That's awesome. Yeah. Like, I'm done with that. Yeah. That's Mystery Reactions is going to be there. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's going to be great. All right, so you're going to do an old Bury Me in Light song. Yes. This is a favorite. This is for the fans. This is for the, the deep cuts. This the is die for hearts, the fans. Yeah. Yep. The diehards. Uh, what are you guys going to do? Eat, eat tater tots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> plenty of tots to be had. Yeah. Not, not touch my guitar with your greasy hands. <laughs> so I think we're going to toss you. Well, actually, are you a righty or a lefty? Righty. We could probably do you in the front seat here. Oh, yeah. It's up to you. Roller girl style. <laughs> Roller girl style. Exactly. <laughs> we'll get yeah, I got the oh. reference. Um, so, yeah, you guys can hang out in the back seat. We're not going to move you. Sweet. All right, so we'll come back on Facebook Live. So if you're around, live performance coming soon. Uh, this Facebook Live presentation. What are you doing? That's the creepiest hand wave I've ever seen. That was just a hand wave. Hi. Oh, God. I got these long fingers. What else are they going to do? Jazz hands. Jazz hands. Um, 
we're going to do another Facebook Live. This this one was brought to you by Boost Mobile. Uh, it is Carcon Carney. This whole damn thing will be a podcast next week, a, a highly listenable, portable podcast. Bury Me and Lights are here. We're in front of Burger Movement in Elmwood Park on North Avenue. Life is a banquet. Now I'm going to stop this. All right, here we go. We're going to begin this again. The circle begins anew. And uh, we're back. This is the second of two Facebook Lives we're doing with Bury Me in Lights. In the back seat, three quarters of Bury Me in Lights. They're not going to do anything right now. They're just there for moral support. Say hi, guys. Hey, guys. Hey. Per <laughs> usual. Uh, per usual. See, this kind of acrimony, this kind of behavior, this, this, is, not, this is not healthy for a band. Uh, in the front seat, uh, I have Robert from Bury Me in Lights. Yes, sir. And you're ready to play a song. Yes, sir. Uh, where do you, you teased this in the last one. Uh, what are you going to play? Uh, this one's called The Way I Wish. This is off of our 2012 release. We don't play live much, so I figured I'd do it today. Nice. Okay, I should mention we're in front of Burger Movement in Elmwood Park. I, I, I have a full full tummy. How about you guys? Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, that food was delicious. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I will sing songs uh, in their honor about the poutine burger I just put away, uh, the tater tots. This place is so great. So we're in Elmwood Park on North Avenue. Bury me in lights. We're getting a solo acoustic song in a car as we record Car Con Carne live here. All right. Uh, have at it. Wait, hang on. I'm going to tilt this so we get the full U. I'm going to make myself leave the picture. Right, okay, right go there. ahead. sky and I will spend all my time in denial remember when I was younger remember my dreams being stronger I can't accept all of my reasons for for being alive. about that uh ron pinkus says pretty good for being in a car performing how about pretty great that, that yeah. really sounded good oh thank you uh the name of that song again uh the way i wish the way i wish that is old school bury me in lights yes, uh guys you know you, you see him every day you've you played with him for years what do you think of that version awesome that was so good Thanks, that was man. so good caitlin says uh like the lighter tribute that was so good uh jason says uh 
Keep saving the scene, JVO. I'm not doing it. It's these guys. Bury me in lights, carrying the torch for what's going on in the city and the suburbs. Uh, so great. So, again, we talked about this earlier in the previous Facebook Live, and this will be a redundant on the podcast. But you're doing the Homegrown Festival uh, in on uh, 721. And then you're playing in September, Punk the Burbs? Is that yeah, Punk the Burbs is in September. And then uh, Halloween show is the things we have booked. But that, that's a full plate. Uh, yeah. They are Bury Me in Lights. They are so good. I, I've been meaning to have you on forever. So th- yeah. I'm so glad we that really you, appreciate you're in the car. Uh, love your band. I love what you're doing for the scene. You sound great. Uh, you guys, full credit to you in the backseat, even though you're not doing much. It, just knowing you're here is pretty freaking amazing. Uh, so I want to thank Bury Me in Lights. Go support them on Facebook. Uh, the website, go see their live shows. That's where it really counts. And I'm going to hold this up one more time. Because you're eating those hearts and thumbs up, bro. Yeah. This is the new Bury Me in Lights merch. Couldn't be more badass. Right? I think, oh, Unless you yeah. owned one. Unless you, that's the only way it'd be more badass is if you <laughs> actually own one. Uh, I do want to thank Burger Movement for fueling us tonight. Absolutely. Uh, it, it is a scientific fact. I, I'm, I'm a nutritionist. You couldn't have sounded as good as you just did had you not eaten here at Burger Movement that's, in Elmwood Park. Oddly enough, that's very true, burgers 100%. in general. But, yeah, that was an extraordinary burger. That extraordinary made me sound burger. Uh, extraordinary. I also want to thank Boost Mobile. And really, for people who are listening to the podcast, carcoincarnate.com, and for the people who are watching on a weeknight as we do this, uh, this is, you know, unedited. We are live on Facebook. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Bury me in lights. You rock. Thank you. You thank too. You. All right, I'm turning this off.